cool, but there's way more going on across this globe that I, I realized I was just scratching the surface. So over the past seven years, I'm just digging in, trying to find the latest and greatest things, and of course experimenting with my body to see what happens. For better or for worse, some interesting <laughs> things have happened along the way. Um, you know, but really, it's all about playing in the kitchen. And that's the one thing I want to convey with you guys today, is having the willingness to try new things, and have that childlike curiosity to try different ingredients and experiment on your husband or your wife or your kids, and sneak some things in, throw some goji berries in the oatmeal in the morning, you know, maybe add some things like a food ninja, like I do sometimes. I don't tell people what's in them. Just wait for the expression of like, yum! You know what's in there? Goji berries. My nephew, wow. Go, with goji berries? Let me tell you. It's one of the highest sources of antioxidants in the world. You know, and then you get into it. So one thing you can do is be a little sneaky if you want to in using these in your everyday recipes. So that's another thing I wanted to spell before we get into this. It's not about radically overhauling your entire lifestyle if you don't want to. Right? Again, it's up to you. On um, You want to go 120 or you want to cruise at 30. Mm -hmm. You can incorporate these into your everyday meals like chili and oatmeal and pancakes and add a little sprinkle of superfoods. Or you can do like I did. I got so addicted to them in the best way of how energized my body felt, how strong I felt, how much leaner my muscle was, and thinking, okay, I think I'm going to do more of these. So you may find that you start using them more and more and more, and you become kind of an alchemist in the kitchen. Got to get some water. Still reeling from that drive, y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. 